What's up everybody? Derek here with the Bass Factory and today I'm doing a little creek fishing. But the cool thing about this creek is it's dammed up right here. The current is coming in right here behind me and somebody dammed it up. So I have never fished here. I've only seen what I've seen on Google Maps. And this thing looks awesome. It re really drops off right there. But I'm going to fish with the new, new lure that I just got in and it's a Rebel Bumble Bug. It's basically a bumblebee. But I'm going to tie this thing on and see. It's got its little wings and everything. It looks pretty cool. I don't know. We'll give it a shot and see if we can catch anything. I'm sure there's some big bass. Check out this bumblebee. This thing looks so cool. It's got hard plastic wings. But it just looks so realistic. So cool looking. There's one. As soon as it hit the water. Sucker nailed it. What do we got? Oh, got us a sunfish. Nice. On the bumblebee. That's a good one, too. That's a good size one. God, I've been catching so many of these down here on this creek. This creek is just putting out some big old sunfish. That's a good size one. Thanks, bud. Yeah. All right. Let's go fish a little bit of this pond. There's some bass I can see right over there off that drop off. So I'm gonna come over here and kind of fish this drop off a little bit, looks like. There's a lot of fish hanging out right there on that edge. See this rock right here? This may look like a pretty cool looking rock, but I used to look for these back in the day. When I was a little kid, we used to go down to the trot, do trot lines on the river, and this would be a weight. You would find rocks that had holes in them naturally like that, and you would tie them off and set them down low. And that was your weight, so you never had to carry weights with you. You just go find them on the bank. Pretty cool. Oh, there's a bass right in front of me. See if I can get it over there to that point, kind of. Nope. Oh, that bass wanted it. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, gosh. I was using it like a topwater. <laughs> Oh, I tricked you, bud. You don't probably see too many bumblebee lures, I guess. Oh, I'm hooking myself. Golly, come undone. These new hooks are so good. There. That's not a big bass, but that was cool because he was right in front of me, and I worked that lure, and he came up and popped it. Yeah. Thanks, bud. There's a lot of bank and a lot of area I'm not going to be able to fish over there. Basically stuck to the bank. No! Well, I don't know where the other part of the bumblebee lure went. There it is. It broke. Would you believe that? It broke right there. Dang, well it looks pretty cool still. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on right now? Cool, there's an F-16. Holy crap. Well, I tied on a little fire tiger crankbait that that's pretty much been my go-to lure down on creeks so far lately. So I'm gonna give this thing a shot and see if we can't maybe catch some. I can't not walk past this spot and fish it. This last time I was here, this spot was on fire. So I am gonna get down here and see if I can't maybe catch some fish in here. 
trap right over there, upstream of that tree. Oh, got that one. That one hammered it. Yes, sir. Not a monster, but it's a good one. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Let's see if we can get another one to hit. There's a lot of fish in there. Oh, that was a hit right there off the bank. Oh, I got him right there. <laughs> oh, it's a cichlid. Oh, I hate these things. These things are so aggressive. Oh, and all I've got are snap ring pliers. My pliers fell out of my pocket for some reason when I'm on the walk or something. So I have got to fight a super strong, aggressive fish for this hook without pliers. This ought to be fun. Let go. Oh, oh, I can't let you go like that. Oh, gotcha. Thanks, bud. Oh, there's one right there. Yes. Man, I am hammering some sunfish now. That's a good one. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Oh, got another one. Man, little guy, but hey, I don't care. Oh, man, you got that hook good, buddy. Thank you, bud. Now oh, this is a good looking little spot right here. This looks awesome right here. Let's see if anything's in here wanting to eat. Oh, there's something following it right there. Got him. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That little dude wanted it. Oh, oh, thank you, bud. That was awesome. That sucker was right up under that current. Here comes another one. Oh, that's a cichlid. We'll hold off on that dude. We don't need him. <laughs> I'm getting tired of catching those almost. Cool, look at the size of those sunfish. I thought that was a bass. Now that's a bass. Dang, that was the biggest sunfish I've seen. Probably, if I would've caught that one, that's probably one of the biggest ones I've caught. That thing looked huge. <clears throat> well, it was another good day. Well, it was another good day down here on the creek. This place is awesome. It never disappoints me. It's got all this gum and stuff on top where I'm at right now, but this place has so much fishing pressure. I mean, there's basically a trail coming right down here. Um, there's so many people that fish this, but this creek looks awesome. There's a lot of good fish down through here, and I love fishing at this place. That bumblebee lure is such a good look. Well, well, the creek didn't. Well, the creek didn't disappoint again. This place is awesome. Uh, that bumblebee lure, I mean. For the time that it stayed alive where the lip didn't fall off, that thing was awesome. I caught that one bass sight fishing and then put on that other crank and 
It was definitely a crankbait kind of day because those fish were hammering them. I caught a bunch of good sunfish, some decent bass, um, not nothing, no monsters or anything, but it's just fun to get down on these creeks and catch fish consistently. And these fish are so aggressive. But let me know if you guys have ever used that bumblebee lure. I'm going to be getting another one. I'm going to be getting a couple of them because that thing worked surprisingly well. But let me know in the comment section if you guys have one of those and you've caught fish. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.